guys, what's up? My name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel Reading with Remy. This video is top 10 books that I want to read in 2018 that have not been previously mentioned in my mid-year book out. Mid-year book freak out tag. Wow. Words. Slow down. Okay, so these are in no particular order. They're just 10 books that jumped out at me from my shelf that I have been meaning to read for a while or have gotten recently that I've heard really great things about and they're just kind of like grabbing my attention. So yeah, we're just gonna jump into it and hopefully this is fun. Um, if I can remember what it's about, give you a little synopsis. Some of these have been on the shelf for a while or actually no, most of these are relatively new. So I should be able to give you a synopsis, but I'm me. So we'll just see what happens. So the first book on here is Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. I love Anna Kendrick. She's so much fun. of comedic memoirs. So this is right up my alley. And they're usually really fast reads, and I am eight books behind schedule, so... The next book I'm going to talk about is Rick Riordan's Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, book three, which is The Ship of the Dead. I got this for Christmas last year. This is the finale to the Magnus Chase trilogy. Um, I love all of Rick Riordan's books. I love Magnus Chase. So I really just need to finish the series. Um, if you guys don't know what Magnus Chase is, first time writing Norse mythology. Um, Magnus Chase is all, like all his other main characters, um, not in a boring way, but he's very funny and witty, and that's just something that Rick Riordan writes best, something I've always enjoyed, and so I'm excited to see how this wraps up. Um, the next book is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Um, side mention that I'd also like to read The Sun is Also a Star by her. Uh, I've had this book since Y'all Fest the first time I went in 2016. I lose track of years. Um, and this is about a girl who's allergic to everything and she falls in love with a boy next door and decides to start taking some risks. You know, the typical ill romance thing that I think has happened a couple times. But I've heard really awesome things about this one. Um, and I need to read it so that I can watch the movie. The next one is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertelli. Um, this is... I don't remember a lot about this one, I'm sorry. Um, but I've heard it's really cute and really funny, and I've always wanted to read a Becky Albertelli novel. Um, and we have this one, so... The next one I'm going to talk about is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. Zappia? Francesca. Um, this is about a girl who writes an online webcomic. That's all I know, that's all I need to know. I'm a nerd, she's a nerd, yes, let's do it. Um, and I think she has like some social anxieties, that's why she does that, and I relate. This one is a book that I've been trying to get my hands on forever, and I finally found it at Second Charles for a reasonable price, and I had to have it. This is The Princess, The Scoundrel, and The Farm Boy by Alexander Bracken. So basically, it's like a retelling of A New Hope, um, basically. It's just a different perspective on A New Hope. The next one is another Rick Riordan book, and that is um, The Trials of Apollo Book 2, The Dark Prophecy. I know the third book is already out. I have this thing where I get them for Christmas every year, so I'm just waiting. Um, but I need to read the second one so I can read the third one when I get it for Christmas. And I just love his books. They're so much fun to read and they're so easy to read, and I'm behind, so I need all the easy and fun I can get. So yeah, um, this is about Apollo. And in the first novel, he is, like, banned from Olympus because he got into some mischief, as Apollo tends to do. And so Zeus banishes him to Earth and also turns him into a teenage boy. And until he, like, proves himself, he can't get back up to Olympus and back to his godhood. So this is all about him getting back up there. And there's a huge plot that kind of comes in around, about his, um, oracles. Next one is what are these called anthologies no. are they oh english major i got something right oh god you'd never know i was an english major um anyway this is an anthology of short stories written by popular ya authors in collaboration with popular booktubers and i don't know about you but that sounds like all i need to know i'm super excited to read this i heard a lot about it like when it was coming out, especially from the people who like collaborated with these authors. And then I haven't heard like anything about it since it came out. So if you've read it and you've enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it, like let me know. I want to know what you guys are thinking about this. And maybe it'll get me to read it faster if you guys enjoyed it. And maybe if not, I might just like put it back on the shelf. 
Um, so yeah, if you've read it, let me know what you thought. Like, I really want to know. I haven't heard anything about it since it came out. Speaking of popular booktubers, oh my god, I just met it. Um, this next book is Zenith, uh, the first book in the Andromeda Saga by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I have been so excited about the release of this book since it was announced. Um, and they were giving out ARCs at Y'all Fest and Chloe won one and I about died. <sighs> yeah. She didn't read it. Um, and then she didn't read it and I was like, bruh, bruh. Like I would have like body checked somebody for that and you're just not gonna read it. Okay. Um, but that's behind us because now we have our own shiny copy. And finally, book number 10, <clears throat> remember in no particular order, is Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the sequel to Stalking Jack the Ripper, um, which I have read and really enjoyed. Um, and the third book, Escaping Houdini, is coming out in October, September, somewhere in there. It's coming out in the fall of 2018. So I really want to read this one before that comes out and then read that one as well in 2018 and kind of like, not get another series off my list because I have too many that are started. Like, there are four books in this one series that I've read one of. <laughs> so those are 10 books that I want to read in 2018. I wonder if I can lift them up. I haven't done this in a while. I picked really heavy books. They're all hardcover. What was I thinking? Okay. All right. Up we go. Okay. So those are the 10 books that I want to read in 2018. Yeah, so I have my work cut out for me. And honestly, this won't even get me close to my reading goal. If I read every single one of these, I would get caught up. It's June. Y'all pray for me. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content. And I will see you guys next time.